All right, we get into the money today. Get into the money. Mid-range shot. I'm telling y'all, everybody, basics is what? We we know how we got to get to the rack. We got to make layups, right? And then with the Steph Curry effect, like I always say, everybody's shooting the three ball. So everybody has a, a layup package and everybody has a three ball or thinks they do. But when you watch the NBA, players that really get the bucket score at all three levels. And that missing level that nobody works on is the mid-range jump shot. Somewhere around that elbow area where I'm shooting it from, or maybe a little bit more in the paint, but the mid-range shot. Players like D-Book, um, SGA for OKC, he got that mid-range smooth game. And then I'm going to say Kyrie. Kyrie began to the, to the paint. He, he shoots that midi a lot. He just pulls up when he gets past you. Or he might get to the rack. Or, you know, he'll, he'll shoot the 3-2. But he's a mid-range assassin. And it's an easy shot. I don't know. If you could shoot a 3, you should be, you should be able to shoot the mid-range. It's a shorter shot. It's all about touch. So, drill of the day... After you watch this, you just go make 25 mid-range jump shots at the elbow. Coming off the right wing and coming off the left wing. Get into that elbow. However you need to get there, just, you know, back up to like half court. If you're in a gym or if you're at the driveway, the park, whatever, just back it up a little bit to where you're coming down, like in a game. Make you one or two moves. Get to the elbow, pull up, make 25, and then go to the opposite elbow and make 25. You, you make 50 game-like shots at the elbow. And this is something you could do every day, every other day. Throw it in your workout every once in a while. But this is a good workout to work on that mid-range. Catch and shoot, partner shooting. Uh, station, stationary shooting, all that stuff is good. But you need to work on game-like movements. Going full speed. Even if if 25 is too much, do 10. Take a little break, do another 10. But when you can get to making 25 straight, well, not 25 straight, but going until you make your 25, you're getting some cardio work in too. So then you're getting ready for the game. Being in shape, being able to make these shots in the fourth quarter when you're tired. A lot of people don't practice making shots when they're tired. So that's why in the fourth quarter, second half, people go downhill. They were hot, you know, they had 12 points and you end with 15 because you don't have that second gear in the second half to keep going and get another 15 and go for 30. So it's all about getting in shape, being able to shoot that ball, muscle memory. Shooting that ball while you're tired to become natural. There's no specifics to this type of drill right here. You're just working on different moves. Have some pace, work on being quick, work on being smooth, changing up your game, different styles for different defenders, different games within your offense, but right now we're just working on just that mid-range, getting to it, getting to that spot. Knowing that you want to get to that spot, what do you got to do to get there? And then shooting the same shot, making 25. Like, see, like right here, I'm missing, but I'm still going game speed, kind of doing the same motion. All right, so on that, it's supposed to be 25. I hit 24, but 25 each side. And then you just go to the other wing after you get some water, take you a couple of deep breaths, get your break, and then go into it. Another 25, that'll be 50 game-like makes, which is equivalent to probably like 100 to 200, just catch and shoot, stationary shooting, this counts more because this is game like, and you're moving game speed. So this is gonna help you.
Because you're going to remember these movements. Your body's going to remember these movements. Moving fast. And then pulling up for the mid-range. Be creative with your moves. Are you coming down the court, one defender in front of you, what would you do? You hit him with a move, one or two moves, three moves max. And then get to your spot, pull up. After you get past him, you get to your spot on the elbow, you pull up. All he can do is foul you. Got to let you shoot. Can't touch you. And one, and you going to the free throw line. And you get that pull up going. Now the big. Imagine if the big's in the paint, you can't really get to that layup, but you get past your man at the three-point line. That mid-range is that second level. I can't make a layup. That's the first level. Now that second level is open. So the big's not coming up. You pull up. Now in a game, he, that big has to come up to help because you're beating your man. If he comes up, then you can get to the layup or you could drop it off. Maybe you're big or somebody cuts. Now you're creating plays. So you're being a playmaker. So you got to be able to score at that first level, the layup, second level, mid range, around the elbow area, and then third area, three point line. If you can score at all three levels, you'll be unstoppable. If you can only score at one, then, you know, people could cut that off and stop you from doing that. You can only score at two. Then, you know, that mid-range is usually always open, but if you can't shoot it, you don't practice it, it's not going to fall for you. So it's really something to work on. I don't think enough people work on their mid-range pull-up. And I don't think enough people work on game-like movements for a good amount of time. If you're playing long games and a lot of games, why why wouldn't you practice getting a lot of game reps the way your body gets used to it? If you only practice half speed or I can't really practice hard because I got a game and all this and that, then you're never going to be able to play at your maximum potential. So I say... Get more game like reps in. And when you're doing game like, it's just 25 and 25. It's not 200 and 200 each side. It's a short amount of makes, but you're going hard for that short amount of time. And this is how you get really good results in my eyes is game like workouts. Go to the gym and say, all right, I'm going to make 50 game like shots. Work on some ball handling, get my free throws in, maybe do some defense. You know, pick things that you're going to work on and then go to the gym and knock it out each time. And that's how you get better over time. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, comment. Peace.